Hey, welcome back to K and K Rooster Productions. I'm Karthik, your host, and today in this video, we're gonna deal with the mistakes and problems with Mocha AE. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, here we are inside After Effects, and this is a footage we are gonna use for this video, and this is a picture which we're gonna track and place it on the screen. So click our video and in the FX tab let's search for Mocha Pro or Mocha AE and here we have the Mocha AE and I click on the Mocha and we are directed to a new window this is a window of Mocha AE and usually when we uh, try to track any, anything uh, inside Mocha what we do is we just click on the spline and add few points on the screen right so let's add the screen uh, let's add some uh, spline so now we have added this spline let's uh, hit track button so after you added this spline on our screen let's hit the track button so here we have the track button now we can see our tracking has started now let's wait for a few seconds until the tracking will complete so before the tracking complete i want to tell you that um, please subscribe my channel if you love this video okay because that's meant a lot to me so subscribe and support and make sure to hit the bell icon actually that doesn't change anything much but still if you want just hit the bell icon so that uh, you might get uh, updated with my new upcoming videos so now you can see our tracking has completed and let's save it and let's save the pro project and close this window and on the tracking data option if you click on the drop down menu you get some few options there so click create track data and make sure you click the layer which we are tracked so layer 3 hit ok now we can see there are some uh, keyframes been added there and let's uh, enable our picture which we have to track and place it there so click on our mocha and we have an option called the export option and where we have three options which is corner pin corner pin with uh, motion blur and transform so i prefer go for corner pin and motion blur so click on that uh, so that you will get some motion blur in your tracking and after that on the layer export button uh, make sure you select the exact layer that is my picture that i'm gonna place on the screen so click on that and click apply export so once you did that you can see our picture is not visible actually the thing is the picture has been tracked but we are not seeing it because the uh, corner pins are not placed exactly on where we wanted so this is a problem that i was talking about mocha pro and now we are gonna see what's the solution so the solution is very simple so let's uh, reset everything okay now let's start once again add the mocha e plugin click on the mocha and we will be directed to a new window and let's add spline make sure this time don't add spline exactly on the screen we have to add spline outside of the screen like mocha works like that okay it just takes pixels and just track with that so make sure you uh, place splines outside the screen so now what you have to do is we have to add a surface the surface which will be like 3d so that they can uh, show up uh, show the mocha that how our surface is placed so we will get few options there just and make sure you adjust those corners to your screen something like this so that the mocha pro will know what he's doing what he's tracking so now i'm showing him that this is my surface and this is how it looks so once you did that just hit the track button now once again let's wait for the mocha ae to track the footage so here we are the tracking has completed let's save the project and close this window and click on the drop down menu of tracking data click create track data and click the layer so now we got some keyframes and let's enable our picture and as like the normal uh, process now we can see our corner pin has been placed exactly on the screen that's the thing now now this time what you have to do is the picture that I, i'm gonna uh, place on the screen we have to pre-compose that you know the problem with mocha is uh, if you want to place something on the screen make sure that picture or video whatever you are placing on the screen that should match exactly the size of your composition 
So what you have to do is you have to pre-compose a layer. Make sure you click on move, move all attributes and click OK. Now we have to make this picture uh, match the size of the power composition. So what you can do is click on the uh, picture and click Ctrl Alt and F. So click Ctrl Alt F so that it will just stretch. I know it's uh, it has been stretched but don't worry it won't affect in our main composition. So let's go back to our main composition and click on the video and on the layer export menu click on our picture and just click export. export. Now you can see the picture has placed on our screen perfect. Is not that cool? That is cool. So that's it guys I hope you have solved your issue with Mocha Pro. So that's it guys once again uh, you're watching KNK Visual Productions I'm Karthik and I'm signing off see you in the next video until then take care.